inspiration, revelation that will help you to that will take you to journey of life. So that and he has been the one causing our work at the altar and the finisher of our faith. Praise the Lord. I give all the glory to the Lord, our Savior Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords, the creator of heaven and earth. All praise and honor to his holy name. I welcome all our viewers all over the world, from the east and west of the entire world, to Deliverance House Television and to our movement with the Lord Jesus Christ, Deliverance Hour, where we share God, divine mystery, and teaches all believers all over the world on how to do deliverance and to get free from the bondage of Satan. By the special grace of God, on this segment, we will be talking on our new book. Uh, the book is here by the special grace of God. Uh, the title is Dream and Interpretation and with Counseling and Solution Prayers. So some of you owe dreams and you do not know the interpretation and you don't have somebody who could give you counsel on what to do concerning your dreams and uh, what and the solution some of the possible solutions as inspired by the holy spirit so as you buy this book if you have a copy of this book you will be inspired uh to to take decisions when you have dreams and uh, so that you can be able to move on with your life uh you can get the book on www deliverancehouse.org or www.deliverancehousebookstore.com May the Lord bless and keep you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will also put some address on the screen where you can get the book and how you can contact us if you need copies of the book. Praise God. Now, for those who do not believe in dreams, some people do not believe in dreams, some Christians still do not believe in dreams, uh, there are pastors who do, who do not believe in the dreams. God can speak through dreams. Uh, they say that well, the dream may not be maybe not correct, but God speaks to us through dreams. I am a living example of God's direction, God directing me through uh, through dreams, and uh, and it has been uh, uh, effective. Uh, let's quickly look at the scripture and see where areas where God has been able to speak to people through their dreams, direct people through their dreams. So we look at two uh, typical examples in the scripture. I want us to start from the book of uh, Job. Let's go to Job, praise God. Chapter 33, and uh, we start from verse 14. Praise God. Job 33, verse 14. Now, for like I said earlier on, for some of you who do not believe that God still speaks through dreams, I'm going to read to you here now, so you, you will hear it by yourself. For the Bible says, Such ye the scripture, for in it ye think ye have eternal life, for it is them that testify of God. So only the Bible that testify of God and what God is capable of doing. So I'm going to read it out to you. Uh, for God speaketh once, yet twice, yet man perceiveth not. I repeat again. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, men, yet men perceiveth not. So God speaks once and twice, but men cannot understand. Men does not perceive it. In a dream, in the vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in sloping upon their bed. So God expressly defined dream here. When you sleep, when this sleep fall upon you, when you slumber, when you snore. So God speaks to his children through the dreams. God said, the Bible said, God speak to us. Then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instructions. So God speaks to us through dreams. I want to go to the second um, instance where God speaks through dreams to his servant and uh, for direction, for instruction, so, so that we, we will know the basis for which we are, um, we wrote this book and for the basis for which we are preaching this message today. Um, we are reading Matthew chapter 1, 
verse uh, 20. Let's go to verse 20. Now, I will start from verse 14, uh, verse 18. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18. Now, now, the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was exposed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, a mother, being a just man and not willing to make a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angels of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Praise God. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, prophet saying, Behold, the virgin shall, bring, shall be with a child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God be with us. Then Joseph, being raised from the sleep, did as the angels of the Lord as bidding him, and took unto him his wife. Praise the Lord. So the Lord was given an instance here. Joseph was a bit confused if he can go ahead with the marriage with, brother Joseph, uh, with sister uh, Mary, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, the earthly mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he was confused when he discovered that the woman he has paid dowry for she became pregnant without having sexual relationship. And uh, the angels of the Lord appeared to him in the dream and said, take this woman and make it your wife. For the baby in her womb, the pregnancy that you saw is from the Holy Spirit. So God gave direction through dreams to his children. So we'll be reading different aspects of dreams, the interpretation, and also the counseling and the, the counsel we give and the solution, the possible solution. Praise the Lord. I said before you can get the book on our website, deliverancehouse.org. We start uh, with the uh, first uh, dream. Now, in the introduction, they said this book contains like three dreams and uh, various interpretations as inspired by the Holy Spirit, coupled with counsel and solution prayer that will help every Christian to resolve the mystery in their night or day dreams. Be blessed as you effectively make use of this material to launch you into another step upward in your Christian life in the mighty name of your Christ. It's written and signed by me. Uh, so. It doesn't matter whether you dream in the night or you dream during the day. Uh, it will give you the, the application are here. Now, number one dream. When you dream of wearing rag or torn clothes, like you dream and you find yourself wearing rags or clothes that are torn into pieces, what are the likely meaning? One, A, it means you are under the attack of the spirit of poverty. B, witchcraft power has a hold upon your destiny. That is, witchcraft power are attacking your destiny. C, it means you are far from being favored physically. That is, you are being oppressed by the spirit of rejection. So it's possible also that it means that you will, be, you will suffer rejection. You will not be accepted by people. You will not be favored by people. D. It also means that your spiritual life is at the verge of decadence. So if you are a Christian or you are a pastor and you saw yourself in rag, it may also mean that your spiritual life is at the verge of decadence. It's not acceptable. Number F. Number E. It means your life is under a witchcraft attack. So if you dream of wearing rags or torn clothes, it could mean that your life is under a witchcraft attack. What are the advice I give to you? I said, uh, examine your life if there is any hidden sin. So you need to examine your life. Is there any sin, hidden sin in your life that you need to get rid of? Uh, uh, when you have done this, try and repent of the sins that you have discovered. And if you have not discovered any sin, uh, then you need to go ahead with the next uh, step by praying the following prayer points, which I alerted here. 
please listen very carefully because I may not be able to repeat them because of the time. If you had this kind of dream when you see yourself in drag, in rags and in torn clothes, these are the solution prayer I offer you. Please pray this prayer violently. You pray like this. You arrow of poverty fired at my destiny. Come out with all your roots and perish in the name of Jesus Christ. I repeat, you arrow of poverty fire into my destiny. Come out with all your root and perish in the name of Jesus Christ. Second prayer point. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I cancel the wicked plans of the enemy against my life and household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I cancel the wicked plans of the enemy against my life and household in the name of Jesus Christ. Number third prayer point. Holy Spirit of God, Born of every garment of poverty placed upon me by Satan and my enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. I repeat, Holy Spirit of God, born of every garment of poverty placed upon me by Satan and my enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number fifth, number fourth prayer. My life received divine visitation from the Lord for better direction and fulfillment in the name of Jesus Christ. Again, my life. Receive divine visitation from the Lord for better directions and fulfillment in the name of Jesus Christ. Those are the prayer points that goes with when you dream and you see yourself in torn or rags. Dream number two. If you saw yourself catching fishes in the dream, what is the meaning when you see yourself catching fishes in the dream? A. God is calling you into a soul winning or an evangelical ministry. So when you see yourself catching fish in the dream, catching fish, maybe that God is calling you into an evangelical ministry or so any ministry. B, if you dream this dream after you have already identified with your God, your, with your God-ordained calling or ministry, it means additional opportunity for increase and success is coming your way. So when you dream this dream, if, if, well, after you have discovered God's plan for your life or you are already in ministry or you are already... Uh, in business, it means additional opportunity and increase is coming your way. So what do you do? What kind of advice do I give you? Immediately ask God for direction. The direction for the fulfillment of the dream. Solution prayers. What are the prayer can I what kind of prayer can I pray? You say, Heavenly Father, teach me, instruct me, and direct my footstep for your purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. I repeat. Heavenly Father, teach me, instruct me, and direct me for your purpose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That is that. Dream number three. When you dream and see many fishes in the sea, but you throw in your hook and catch uniquely big fish, that is when you see yourself in a dream and they were, you were beside the sea and there were many fishes, you are and you throw your net and you catch one very big fish. What does it mean? A big door of opportunity has just been opened to you, to you spiritually and physically. So it means a big door of opportunity has just been opened to you either physically and spiritually. B, it also means an opportunity for breakthrough is around the corner. So it may also mean that a breakthrough is around your corner. God is about to give you a kind of a breakthrough. What are the prayer? What are the prayer that you need to pray? You pray this prayer as this: Oh God, let your heaven of opportunity be open unto me today, in the name of Jesus Christ. I repeat: Oh God, let your heavens of opportunities be open unto me today, in the name of Jesus Christ. You pray another prayer as this. Oh, Heavenly Father, let my divine helper locate my address today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So when you have dreams and you see, uh, you throw your net into the dream, into the water and you catch, well, even though there are many fishes, so you catch one big fish. It means a big opportunity has been opened to you. Dream number four. When you dream and see someone throwing stone at you, you dream and somebody just throws stone at you in the dream. Or many people throwing stone at you in the dream. 
What is the meaning? A. An evil plan or plot has been organized against your happiness. B. Someone is planning to destroy your reputation. So when you dream and somebody is telling you story in the dream, it means an evil plan is against your life. It's a plan, a gang up is against your life, and somebody is trying to destroy your reputation. So what are the solution prayer? What kind of prayer can you pray to get out of the trap of the enemy? This prayer, you must pray them violently. Lord, let every evil tongue that has risen up against me in judgment be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I repeat the prayer again. Lord, let every evil tongue that has risen up against me in judgment be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Second prayer. I return the evil plot of the wicked against me back to their heads in the name of Jesus Christ. I return the evil plot of the wicked against me back to their head in the name of Jesus Christ. So when you dream, people throwing stone at you, you pray those prayers and it will help you. So if you want to get this CD, you contact us, contact the address on the screen so that you can have it personally. And when you are watching it, you can pause the prayer and uh, continue from there. After you have prayed the prayer very well, you pause it, you continue from there. Dream number five. When you dream of someone pursuing you and you start flying until you fly to safety, somebody is pursuing you in your dream and you began to fly. And as you fly, you fly to safety. What is the meaning? A. Divine help from God against the enemy. It may mean God has helped you against the enemy. So what kind of prayer can you pray? When you find yourself in this instance, oh Lord, God, be my present help at the time of trouble. Oh Lord God, be my present help at the time of trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. So, when you dream this kind of dreams and you see that in the dream that uh, uh, um, you, 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 somebody is pursuing you and you are in the process of being pursued and somebody is pursuing you and you run and all of a sudden you begin to fly. And uh, you fly to safety. You have obtained divine help from God. So those are the prayer points. And you also pray that, Oh Lord, be my present help in the time of trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. Number six, uh, dream number six. If you dream that someone is trying to attack you, but while you are trying to run, you discover that your feet are glued to the ground. There are instances when you dream and somebody is pursuing you, and while you try to run, you could not move. You find yourself glued. You glue to the to the ground. You find yourself unmovable. What is the meaning? A magnetic attack. The enemy attacking you have a foothold in your life. That is the one attacking you, the spirit that is attacking you has something in you that is standing as a foothold against your life. That is there's something in your life that the enemy has. The power attacking you has some of its property in you. It doesn't mean that the power that is attacking you has some of its property in you. That is why you find it difficult to move. It must have sown a seed in your life, so you are finding it difficult to move. What advice do I give to you? Examine your life and see if there is anything that the enemy has in common with you. Maybe the houses you are living is is bought with uh, uh, stolen money or fraudulent money or ritual money so when you see yourself in the dream when the enemy is pursuing you you cannot run you'll be glued to the place to one place why because you have his property with you well the solution prayer is this after you have examined yourself and you've gotten rid of those things property of the enemy that you have then you pray this prayer please make sure you pray the prayer violently every foothold of the enemy in my life Break by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I repeat, every foothold of the enemy in my life, break by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Prayer 2. I break myself loose from every covenant, binding me together with the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break myself loose from every covenant, binding me together with the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dream number seven. If you dream 
and see yourself well dressed but someone came around you or somebody comes around you and pour dirty water or stain on your clothes what does it mean if you dream and see yourself well dressed and somebody just came and poured dirty on you the meaning an attack has been programmed against your reputation an attack has been programmed against your reputation there is an attack on your spiritual life so what do you what kind of prayer do you pray so that this does not happen to you since this dream may be an uh, a, a warning or uh, for, for you to know that somebody something is happening to you or it may be the exact situation of what you are going through so what kind of prayer do you pray you said every weapon fashioned against my life shall not prosper in the mighty name of jesus christ power to live a holy life and sanctified life fall upon me in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray those prayer together every power fashioned against my life shall not prosper in the name of jesus christ power to live a holy life and a holy and sanctified life fall upon me in the mighty name of jesus christ and finally you said blood of jesus christ renew my spiritual life in the name of jesus christ blood of jesus christ renew my spiritual life in the name of jesus christ dream eight if you dream of yourself taking a bath in your bathroom what does it mean it means spiritual cleaning what kind of prayer can you pray when you dream of yourself taking bath in the dream well there are prayer for that you said oh lord cleanse me and make me old in the name of jesus christ oh lord cleanse me and make me old in the name of jesus christ cleanse me and make me old in the name of jesus christ dream number nine when you dream and see yourself having sexual intercourse with a known or an unknown person when you sleep in the night and you dream and you see yourself having sexual intercourse or sexual relationship with a known person or a person that you do not know in the dream what is the meaning a it means a spiritual spouse is in your life that is you have a spiritual husband or a spiritual wife b sexual pollution has just taken place in your life it means that your life is being polluted sexually c evil poison and demonic virtue have been transferred into your life so that sexual relationship that you are in a dream is a sign that the enemy is transferring evil virtue evil poison and demonic virtue into your body so what, what kind of prayer do you pray please pray this prayer with all your heart number one i break myself loose from every covenant binding me to a spiritual wife or husband in the mighty name of jesus christ i break myself loose with from every covenant binding me to a spiritual husband or wife in the mighty name of jesus christ two thou root of demonic pollution in my life die in the mighty name of jesus christ you pray the prayer like that thou root of demonic pollution in my life die in the name of jesus christ prayer number three power assigned to cut short my life receive divine destruction in the mighty name of jesus christ power assigned to cut off my, cut short my life receive divine destruction in the mighty name of jesus christ so i advise you uh to get my book because i wrote a book on spiritual husband and wife uh um very very powerful book very very effective book that will help you to overcome uh, the power of the spiritual husband and the spiritual spiritual wife number 10 you dreams when you dream excuse me when you dream and see yourself or someone you know smoking despite the fact that you or the person has never spoke in the real world before 
Praise the Lord. When you dream and you see someone, you know, uh, oh, 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 you know, smoking, or partly you see yourself smoking, and that uh, you have never smoked before, or you this person has never smoked before. What does that mean? The spirit of anger, lying, and immorality is operational or operating or is about to begin to operate in, in your life or in the life of the person in the dream. So when you dream of yourself or someone who is smoking or drinking, uh, who is smoking uh, in the dream, it means that uh, the spirit of lying or anger or immorality is about to manifest or in the process of manifesting in the life of the person or in your life. So what are the prayer you're supposed to pray? You said, Please, the prayer has to be prayed violently. That's why I said that when you are, if you have this tape, if you can buy the tape, uh, if you have access to this tape, just pause everywhere there are prayer points, then you pray the prayer by yourself. Oh Lord, deliver me from every demonic inheritance in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, deliver me from every demonic inheritance in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer B, arrow of unrighteous behavior, Fire into my life. Come out with all your root and go back to where you came from in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Arrow of unrighteous behavior. Fire into my life. Come out with all your root and go back to where you came from in the name of Jesus Christ. So those are the prayers you pray if you dream of seeing yourself smoking uh, in the dream. When you have never smoked before or you see somebody smoking in the dream who has never smoked before. It's a sign of prayer. Of, of, of anger, lying, immorality, uh, uh, operational in the life of the person. The prayer, uh, uh, dream number 11. When you dream and find yourself in the midst of many snakes, what does that mean? When you dream and you see yourself in the midst of many snakes, there are a lot of snakes here and there. A. You are surrounded by deceptive people. You are surrounded by people of different bad character. B. You are in the midst of demonic association. That means you are in the midst of demonic association. Association that are not good for, your, for you. C. There is a demonic coalition against you. There is a gang up, a spiritual demonic gang up against your life. So in this instance, what do you do? You go, you do, you pray this prayer. Like I said, all prayer must be prayed with all your heart, with all your heart, violently. Blood of Jesus, separate me from every demonic project planned for me by the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I repeat, you say, blood of Jesus Christ, separate me from every demonic project planned for me by my enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 12. In dream number 12, if you dream and you see fire burning in your domicile, you see fire burning in your house or where you are living, just dream and you begin, the fire was burning, it's burning everywhere. So what do you do? What does it mean? It means a, pro a problem has escalate, escalated or a problem is about to escalate around you. Listen again. It means a problem has escalated or a problem is about to escalate around you. So what prayer do you pray? I have three prayer points here. So you pray them as follows. Oh Lord God, send forth your rod of healing into my household in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God, send forth your rod of healing into my household in the name of Jesus Christ. B. Power assigned to destroy my destiny. Receive divine judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. Power assigned to destroy my destiny. Receive divine judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three. Internal and external enemy of my household be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. Internal and external enemy of my household be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. So when you dream and you, you see fire burning in your house or your domicile, those are the prayer points you pray. Dream number 
13. Praise the Lord. When you dream and see a man wearing a mask to attack you, you sleep in the night and all of a sudden you see somebody who is wearing a mask. You can't see his face and he's trying to attack you. What is the meaning? A pretentious enemy is attacking your destiny. A pretentious enemy is attacking your destiny. You have an enemy who is pretending and you may not know that he's, a, he's an enemy. He doesn't want you to know that he's your enemy. So he's the one attacking you. It may also mean that a witchcraft attack is against your life. So what kind of prayer are you going to pray? With a prayer of violence? Enemy of my happiness, receive divine pestilence and perish in the name of Jesus Christ. Enemy of my happiness, receive divine pestilence and perish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Power assigned to touch on my life. That is the second prayer point. I waste you in the name of Jesus Christ. Power assigned to touch on my life. I waste you in the name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 14. Dream number 14. When you dream and see yourself climbing a mountain, but every effort to get to the top proof above abortive you see yourself trying to climb on a mountain and while you are trying to climb on the mountain you try all your effort to climb to the top but you couldn't get there something is just feel evidence you can't climb to the top what is the meaning a demonic embargo is against your sources there is a demonic embargo that is an embargo that is spiritual has been placed against your success. An embargo, what is an embargo? An embargo is an impediment. Something like a blockage. A barrier. That's an embargo. So it means that an embargo or a barrier has been placed against your success. B. Spirit of failure is waiting for you at the verge of success. It means that there is a spirit called the spirit of failure that doesn't want you to succeed while you're about getting to your success. So what are the prayer points that you pray for instances like this. Oh Lord, energize me to climb the ladder of my success to the top. Again, you pray. Oh Lord, energize me to climb the ladder, to climb the ladder of my success to the top. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prayer number two. Demonic barrier walking to waste my time. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. Demonic barrier, walking to waste my time. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. Power to excel in life. That's prayer number three. Fall upon my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Power to excel in life. Fall upon my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Uh, dream number 15. When you dream and you see yourself failing an examination, that is when you dream in, in the night and you were writing an examination and you see yourself failing in the examination, what does it mean? It means arrow of failure is targeted at your life. It means that an arrow of failure is targeted at your life. B, it also means power to make you immature or unprepared for the next level of your life life success has been attacked has been sent against you that is power to make you to be to fail at the next level of your life has been sent against you so what do you do what are the prayer that you need to pray pray this prayer as follow enemy of my progress be scattered by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Enemy of my progress, be scattered by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I will excel in life in the name of Jesus Christ. I will excel in life in the name of Jesus Christ. Three, arrow program against me to, to relegate me to the back. 
backfire to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Arrow program against me to relegate me to the back. Backfire to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Dream number 16. When you dream of a known masquerade in your village pursuing you, now there are several dreams that people have of masquerade pursuing them. But if you dream of, of a masquerade that you know from your village or your community pursuing you, uh, what does this mean? A. Evil power is waging war against you. B. Ancestral spirits attack. It symbolizes that there is an attack from your from home, an ancestral spirit attack. That is the spirit or a demon that your ancestor have worshipped in the past is trying to attack you. C. The enemy are against your rest. So the enemy is trying to attack your rest. They want to scatter what you are doing. So what, what do you do in this instance? Uh, I have said earlier on that prayers must be done aggressively. Prayer number one. Enemy of my greatness, receive divine destruction from the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Enemy of my greatness, receive divine destruction from the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer number two. O Lord, send your fire into the foundation of my family and destroy the root of evil in it, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. O Lord, send your fire into the foundation of my family, and destroy the root of evil in it, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prayer number three. Dangerous weapons of the wicked employed against my happiness be destroyed, in the name of Jesus Christ. Dangerous weapons of the enemy employed against my happiness be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 17. When you dream of being shot with a gun, when you, are, when you dream of somebody take a gun and shoot at you, what, what, what is the meaning of the dream? A. Arrow of death. It may be an arrow of death. B. Arrow of sickness. It may be an arrow of sickness. C, arrow of misfortune is being sent against you. So when you dream somebody pick up a gun and shoot you in the dream, it may mean that arrow of death, arrow of misfortune, uh, 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 arrow of uh, sickness is being shot against you. What are the solution prayer that you need to pray? Prayer number one, evil arrow assigned against me, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus Christ. I repeat, evil arrow assigned against me. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer number two. Misfortune, stay away from my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Misfortune, stay away from my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prayer number three. I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer number three. I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 18. When you dream that your certificate gets burned, when you sleep in the night and you dream and you saw your certificate got burned, what is the meaning? An evil power wants to render you useless. It means that Evil power has been programmed to render you useless. B. It means you are about to lose your job. So what are the prayer points that you must pray to get rid of this kind of prayer, of this kind of events from manifesting in your life? To get rid of this event so that it will not manifest in your life. Prayer number one. I refuse to be a wasted generation in the name of Jesus Christ. We prayed that prayer and said, I refuse to be a wasted generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, you pray, power assigned to demote me, be demoted yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Power assigned to demote me, be demoted yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. 
number prayer number three satanic rage against my job backfire to the senders in the name of jesus christ satanic rage against my joy backfire to the sender in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number 19. excuse me uh dream number 19. when you dream of someone trying to stab you from the back or from the front you dream somebody is about to stab you with a knife either from the back back or from the front what does that mean means what's the meaning of that dream a secret or an open battle is raging against you there is a secret battle that has been declared against you what kind of prayer can i pray when you, when i have this kind of dream you pray like this every satanic plot against my life go back to the sender in the name of jesus christ i repeat every satanic plot against my life go back to the sender in the name of jesus christ prayer number two any agent of darkness designed against my fulfillment any agent of darkness designated against my fruitfulness receive god divine judgment in the mighty name of jesus christ any agent of darkness designated against my fruitfulness receive god divine judgment in the name of jesus christ dream number 20 if you dream and you see yourself on a very big farmland planting seeds what does it mean a you find yourself in a dream and you see a, pla a big farmland a very big farmland and you are planting seed inside the farmland what does that mean it is a call to evangelize or to win souls for the Lord it is a call to evangelize or win soul for the Lord B your contribution is paramount to the development of a life a family, a company, an organization, or a ministry. It means your contribution is very important to the development of a particular life. A family, a company, an organization, or a ministry. So when you dream and you see yourself on a very big farmland, a big farmland, and in that big farmland, you are sowing seed. You are amongst people, you are sowing seed, you are planting seed there. Finally, what kind of prayer can you pray in that instance? You said, accelerate your life, accelerate, accelerate your, oh Lord, accelerate your will in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, accelerate your will in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. So, that's the prayer you pray for that uh, uh, dream. Now, I said before, if you want the book, the number is appearing on the screen, and you make sure you get it. It's called Dream and Interpretation and Counseling with Counseling, Dreams and Interpretation with Counseling and Solution Prayer, written by Augustine Ayodeji, Oribo, Oribo, uh, it's Oribo to Jesu, Oribo for short. It's, I'm the one that wrote the book and I pray that God will bless you even as you get one copy in Jesus name now dream number 21 when you dream and you see yourself in a beautiful garden full of flowers what is the meaning it means a flourishing life or flourishment life policy life is ahead of you what kind of prayer can you pray after you have had those kind of dream you say heavenly father lead me into the land of my abundance in the name of jesus christ heavenly father lead me into the land of my abundance in the name of jesus christ dream number 22 if you dream and saw a tree full of ripe fruits you see a tree full of ripe fruit in your dream what is the meaning a a great harvest is around the corner b 
your work is fruitful and mature for harvest. See, it is the right time to take the next step. A, I repeat, a great harvest is around the corner. B, your work is fruitful and mature for harvest. C, it is the right time to take steps. Praise the Lord. Or, finally, action is required or it is time to act. So when you dream and you see a tree that is full of fruits, ripe fruits, it's time to act. Action is required. What kind of prayer can I pray when I see this kind of dream? Oh Lord, give me wisdom and understanding that will guide me into fruitfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, give me wisdom and understanding that will guide me into fruitfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 23. As a pastor, you dream of three full of fruits and only one of them is ripe. As a pastor, a minister of God, you dream of three full of fruits, but only one of the fruit in the tree is ripe. What is the meaning? I'm going to tell you the meaning. It means that among your church group or worker, only one is mature and ready to be delegated or set off to work elsewhere. Or of all the efforts you have made, only one of them is productive. Praise God. It means again, among your church group or workers, only one is mature and ready to be delegated or sent off for work elsewhere. Or it may also mean that the effort you have made, of all the effort you have made, only one of them is productive. Only one of them is ready uh, is for exploit. Dream number 24. If you dream of a tree full of unripe fruit, what does it mean? A tree is full of unripe fruit ripe fruit in your dream what does that mean it means not yet time for action it is not yet time for action it's not yet time to take steps it's not yet time for action uh, it's not yet time to take step B not yet time for harvesting C it's not yet time it's, the, the, your, it's not a mature group that is you saw a free full of uh, unripe fruit it's not yet mature d it also implies be patient praise god it also implies be patient so god may be telling you to be patient that it's not yet time for, to harvest it's not yet time to reap it's not yet time for increase just be patient yet patient that's when you see the harvest a tree is green and you see the fruit on the tree all of them are not yet uh, ripe for harvest what kind of prayer you do you pray you said grant me O Lord or grant my group grace to be patient in the name of Jesus Christ so if you are in a group maybe a guru God may be explaining or telling you that a group needs uh, to be patient so you say God grant me or my group grace to be patient uh, to wait patiently on you or you can also pray that, O oh Lord, grant, O oh Lord, enough spiritual nutrients for my fruitfulness. So we ask God to give you enough spiritual nutrient because that fruit you see on the tree is not yet ripe. So God will have to nourish it so that it can come to a ripe, uh, a ripe stage for harvest. So you ask God, grant me enough spiritual nutrients for my fruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we go to number 25, dream number 25. If you dream and you saw a tree full of rotten or decayed fruit, you dream you saw a tree full of rotten, the tree is ro the fruit is rotten and decayed. What do you do? It means what does what is the meaning? It means seek investment. So you may have invested in the project, but God is saying that it's a seek investment. B, seek church it must be a seek church. Maybe your, your, your congregation is sick or your establishment is sick. C. Wasteful or a wasted result. As which means that what you have just done has gone as yielded wasted effort. So what is the solution prayer? 
you pray like this when you add dreams like that you see a dream and, and you saw a tree full of rotting or, or decayed fruit what kind of prayer do you pray you said the labor of my hand shall not be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus christ the labor of my hands shall not be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus christ number prayer number b uh, i will not labor in vain in the name of jesus christ i will not labor in vain in the name of jesus christ 26 dream number 26 when you dream and you are always eating in the dream you find yourself always eating in the dream what is the meaning a it means demonic pollution for the purpose of evil control a power want to control you so what they do is they are feeding you so that they can pollute you so that they can control you when you find yourself eating always in the dream it means that the enemy is trying to deposit something inside of your body so that they can use it to control you you know before you can control a television there must be a chip in the television before you can use a tele uh, a, a remote control on the television so that chips is the food that you are eating in. as soon as you eat the, eat the food then the enemy can con control you manipulate you through their spiritual telecommand so you need to pray you need to pray it can also be evil initiation the enemy is trying to initiate you so what do you pray what kind of prayer can you pray for this one you said oh lord satanic food satanic food caterer feeding me with polluted me in my dream perish in the name of jesus christ i repeat that prayer again satanic food caterer feeding me with polluted food in my dream perish in the name of jesus christ prayer number two power assigned to waste my life power assigned to waste my life die in the mighty name of jesus christ power assigned to waste my life die when we say die we mean become paralyzed become ineffective so powers can die and evil power can become ineffective and evil power can perish prayer number three arrow of polluted food fire into my body to pollute my life come out with your root in the mighty name of jesus christ those are the prayer you pray when you dream and you find yourself in are you eating in the food eating in the dream eating different kind of food in the dream dream number 27 when you dream of yourself always playing with snakes praise god most ladies dream this kind of dream when you dream you find yourself in the dream always playing with snakes what does this mean a you have been initiated into the marine spirit that is you have been initiated into this kingdom of waters that is the spirit that operate through the waters b a deceitful a deceitful company is around you so when you see snake around you, you dream you see yourself playing with snake that is a a, a, deceitf a deceitful company friends are around you so what do you pray what kind of prayer do you pray i break any covenant or engagement with any strange spirit by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ I break every covenant or engagement with any strange spirit by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ B satanic trap set to destroy me destroy yourself in the name of Jesus Christ satanic trap set to destroy me destroy yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ those are the prayer you pray uh, when you dream of always seeing yourself playing with uh, snakes dream number 28 when you dream and saw that your driving license was seized now you dream in the dream and somebody sees your license driving license you see a police officer or a traffic warder or a traffic controller stop you your car or stop you and collect your driving license what does that mean it means a spiritual delay b witchcraft attack so what kind of prayer you can you pray what kind of prayer can i pray when i dream and somebody collect my license in my dream you said you pray like this holy ghost fire burn into ashes every satanic obstacle programmed into the way of my progress 
by the enemy of my soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire burn into ashes every satanic obstacle programmed into the way of my progress in the mighty by the by the enemy of, or by the enemy of my soul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I repeat again, it's very, very important you pray this prayer with all your heart. Holy Ghost fire burn to ashes every satanic obstacle programmed into the way of my progress by the enemy of my soul in the name of Jesus Christ. So when you see somebody come and collect your driving license in the dream, it's like I said, spiritual delay or witchcraft attack. Dream number 29. If you dream and saw yourself with a Bible or a megaphone preaching in the public places or preaching, what does that mean? You find yourself with a megaphone and a Bible and you are preaching. What does it mean? A. It means you have a calling from God into the ministry of preaching the gospel and evangelizing. Praise God. Uh, what kind of prayer can I pray when I find myself in a dream like this? Uh, you said, Lord, lead me, guide me, accelerate, accelerate your perfect will for my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Once again, I said, you said, Lord, lead me, guide me, accelerate your perfect will for my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 30. When you dream of swarm or bees coming to attack you, when you dream and you saw yourself, you saw a swarm or a bees, bees, bees inside that used to be bees that bees that bring out honey and they were coming to attack you. What does that mean? A series of affliction are targeted against your life. Series of affliction are targeted against your life. So what do I do when I find myself in this kind of situation in a dream? As soon as you wake up, what do you do? You pray this following prayer. A. Arrow of affliction against my life. Go back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Arrow of affliction against my life. Go back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. B. Affliction. I refuse to house you in my life. Affliction. I refuse to house you in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. C. Arrow of multiple affliction. Perish by God divine fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Arrow of multiple affliction. Perish by God divine fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 31. Praise the Lord. If you dream and you see a lion pursuing you. In your dream when you dream and you see a lion pursuing you what does that mean it means a an evil agent of darkness has been programmed to subdue you an evil agent of darkness an evil agent of darkness has been programmed to subdue you spirit of terror is about is after your life spirit of terror is after your life so it can mean these two things. So what kind of prayer do you pray? As soon as you wake up, you see a lion pursuing you in the dream. When you wake up, what kind of prayer can you pray? Now you say, power assigned to kill me. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Power assigned to kill me. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ. B. Power seeking my death. Receive the arrow of death from the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Power seeking my death. Receive the arrow of death from the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. See. Oh God. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. Arise. Destroy and devour every demonic lion. Assigned against my life. By the enemy of my soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. You say again. Lord Jesus Christ. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. Arise and devour every demonic arrow. Every demonic lion. Programmed against my life by the enemy of my soul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 32. If you dream and you saw snail all around you, snail is here, snail here, snail 
here, what French people call escargot. You drink and you saw your snail all around you. What does that mean? Attacked by the spirit of failure, fear, and slothfulness. So it is a sign of failure, fear, and slothfulness. Just like a snail is slothful, a snail is fearful, a snail fails sometimes, most of the time. So it means it's an attack of the spirit of failure, fear, and slothful. When you are fearful, you cannot succeed. When you are fearful, you will not progress. When you are slothful, you will not progress. It means failure is all around. So what kind of prayer do you pray? Evil power assigned to, to waste my life. I waste you in the name of Jesus Christ. Evil power assigned to waste my life. I waste you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy all the evil programming against my progress. That's second prayer point. In the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy all the evil programming against my progress. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those are the prayers you pray when you dream and you see snails all around you in your dream. Dream number 33. This is the 33rd dream. Uh, stay in the book. If you have any question, try and contact me. The address is on the screen by the special grace of God. And the, the Lord will help you. If you have a personal problem and you want God to help you, you want healing for, to your soul, try and contact me. I know there's someone who is watching this program today and you need, you really need to talk to me. Call. The Lord will help you. You can make arrangement to meet online or God will bless you even as you do. Dream number 33. If you dream and you saw spider web all over your house, spider web, spider webs, webs, all over your house, your car or your offices what does that mean when you dream you sleep in the night you or in the day or in the afternoon you saw spider web everywhere a it means witchcraft attack is against you b it means there is an evil machination against your life or your household c spirit of delay a spirit of delay has been fired against you. So when you see spider webs and you see cobwebs, spider webs or cobwebs in, in around your house, in your office, inside your car, inside your house or your office, in the dream, it means there's a spirit of delay. It, it, it means which can attack against your, your life. It means evil machination. Some people is planning evil things against your, your well-being. So what kind of prayer do you pray? You pray this prayer. Please listen carefully and pray with all your heart. Evil machination by the enemy against my life. Be cancelled and destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. B. Divine fire of God. Destroy every foundational power. Program ev programming evil and delay into my life and family in the name of Jesus Christ. I repeat again. Divine fire of God, destroy every foundational power, programming evil and delay into my life and family in the name of Jesus Christ. See, fire of God, burn to ashes, all satanic barriers erected against my joy and increase in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire of God, burn to ashes, all satanic barriers erected against my joy and increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So, when you see in your dream and you saw spider webs and you saw all over the, your house spider webs, your car spider webs, those are the kind of prayer that you need to offer and pray. I pray the Lord will bless and keep you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 34. When you dream and saw yourself being carried about in a casket, you dream that you dream and you saw yourself somebody carrying you in a casket. What do you do? What is the meaning? First, we have to explain the meaning. 
it means a spirit of death. Two, it means B, it means termination of destiny. Or the enemy is planning evil or, or spirit or is planning death for your soul. For your so when you dream and you see yourself being carried about in a casket, it means it is the spirit of death and termination of life. So what kind of prayer do you pray? I refuse to die by any form of demonic manipulation in the name of Jesus Christ. Number B, I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. C, the desire of the wicked over my life shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The desire of the wicked over my life shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. D. Blood of Jesus Christ, seed my life and family from the power of the grave in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus Christ, seal my life and family from the power of the grave in the name of Jesus Christ. Like I said, if you want the book, the address is on the screen, so you can always uh, contact us so that we can send you a copy of the book uh, with just a token. Uh, and I pray the Lord will bless you, even as you do that in Jesus Christ's name. Dream 35. When you dream, if you dream and saw yourself in a big farmland, and there are termites covering the crops on the farmland, you saw yourself in a dream, and you saw a big farmland, and there were termites, termites covering the, 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 the crops that were planted there, what does it mean? Which crop attack? B, there are enemy of progress working against the labor of your end. So it means witchcraft attack or there are enemy of progress working against the labor of your end. So what kind of prayer can I pray when I find myself in a dream, in such kind of a dream? What do I do? What kind of prayer do I pray? Uh, you go as, you pray as, as, as like this. Fire of the most high God. You call down fire and you pray this fire. You say fire of the most high God. Born to ashes or evil gathering against my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire of the most high God, born to ashes all evil gathering against my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. B. O Lord, scatter the enemy and reduce them to naught in the name of Jesus Christ. You ask God to scatter the enemy and reduce them to naught in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 36. If you dream and you saw yourself washing clothes in the dream, you saw yourself washing your clothes in the dream, what does that mean? It means a spiritual cleaning. God is cleaning you or there is a process of cleaning taking place in your life. B, it, require, it means acquiring new knowledge. It means that you are acquiring spiritual knowledge or physical knowledge. C, engage in deliverance activity. It may be that you are in the process of prayer and fasting. Or God is telling you to pray and fast. Solution prayer. You pray like this. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, cleanse me, heal me, and uh, make me old in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, cleanse me, heal me, and make me old in Jesus Christ's name. Dream number 37. If you dream and you saw yourself taking your bath in the public, in the public place you dream you saw yourself in the public place taking your bath what does that mean it means that you have no secret praise God it means you have no secret B your secret is known or is about to be known because of your action your secret is about or has already been known because of your action so when you see yourself bathing in the public place, in the public place, it means that you have no secret. Uh, your secret is about to be known. Uh, 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 it's about to be known uh, by, by the public. Solution prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, help me to be careful and to be prudent where necessary in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, help me to be prudent about my life and be careful where necessary in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So those, those are the kind of prayer points you pray uh, to handle instances or uh, situations 
like that. When you dream and you saw yourself taking your bath in the public place, uh, in public place, at number 38, dream number 38. If you dream and you saw yourself taking your bath in your own bathroom, you are in your own bathroom in private, you are taking your bath, it means spiritual cleaning. B, you are just fasting and prayer. It may be that you are doing fasting and prayer and God is telling you you are cleaning yourself. C, it may be that God is telling you you are preparing your life for another life. It may be that God is telling you you are preparing your future, you are preparing yourself for another life. A new life. What kind of prayer can you pray? Are there, do I need to pray for that again? Yes, of course. Every dream you need to pray. You need to consult God for it. So what do you do? You say, oh Lord, empower me to fulfill my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, empower me to fulfill my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 39. Now, if you dream and saw yourself ironing your clothes, you, you dream, you, you saw yourself ironing your clothes in the dream, you ironing your clothes, what does that mean? Your life is organized or you are in the process of putting your life or you organize your life or putting your life right. So when you see yourself ironing in, in the dream, it means that you, God is telling you to organize your life, put your life in order or you are in the process of organizing your life. So what kind of prayer can I pray? Do I need to pray? Yes, you need to pray about it. He said, Lord help me to do what is right and acceptable to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help me to do what is right and acceptable to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 40. If you dream and you saw yourself watching a television set with blur screen or blur images, you see yourself in your sitting room and you are watching television in a dream, and the TV set or television set is blur. The image is blur. It's not clear. It's blurring. What does that mean? Your life program is not clear. It means the direction you are going is not clear. It means what you want to do, you have no proper information. It also means it is on a certain future. The future is not certain. So don't go ahead. Or you're certain your future is not certain. So what kind of prayer do I pray? You say, eternal God. Make everything plain before my eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, eternal God, make everything plain before my eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. The second prayer points you will pray, witchcraft enchantment against my happiness. Clear away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Witchcraft enchantment against my happiness. Against my happiness. Clear away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 41. If you dream and you saw no image at all on the screen of your television set. <laughs> wow. You dream and there is no image. You were watching television and no, no, no image. What does that mean? A. It means you have no program of life. At all, the program of your life has been cut off by the enemy. Praise God. You, you are watching TV in the dream and there is no screen. I mean, there is no image. The screen is blank. It means your div the, the, there is no divine program of life for you. What kind of prayer can I pray? You say, Lord, reveal to me, O oh Lord, your program for my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Reveal to me, O oh Lord, your program for my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number 42. Dream number 42. When you dream of watching a television set with a particular program display, you sit down in your house and you watching television set in a dream, and there is a particular program on the screen, and the program is clear and understandable. What does that mean? God is telling you what your next activity should be, or what the enemy is planning to do in your life. God is telling you what your next activity is to, is to be or what the enemy is doing in your life. B. God may be telling you the kind of battle going on in your life at that moment. B. God may be telling you the kind of battle going on in your life at that moment. C. God is taking 
talking to you through the image or event transmitting on the screen of that television in your dream god is trying to talk to you through that image on the screen praise the lord so what kind of prayer do i pray uh, when i see dreams like this oh lord establish your will in my life oh lord establish your will in my life in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah dream number 43 when you dream and saw yourself distributing food to the poor you dream and you see yourself giving to the poor giving to the poor what does that mean god wants you to to, to, be, to be generous to people b you have a help and charity ministry c it may also mean you should commit to saving soul so in the same prayer point apply here lord help me to do your will accordingly lord help me to do your will accordingly dream number 44 if you dream and you saw a a, a, a giant creature standing and blocking your path when you sleep in the night and you dream you saw a giant creature a, a giant being stopping you standing on the path you want to pass pass it's stopping you it doesn't want you to pass what is the meaning a embargo b the demonic barrier c a strong man of delay is assigned to your path of progress so what do you do when you see dreams like this you pray this prayer points a strong man of darkness assigned against my life be destroyed today in the name of jesus christ strong man of darkness as trying against my life be destroyed today in the name of jesus christ b only ghost fire demolish all satanic barrier place on my way to success by the enemy in the name of jesus christ only ghost fire de demolish all satanic barrier place on my way to success by the enemy in the mighty name of jesus christ b uh, c strong man in my life die strong man in my life die strong man in my life die in the mighty name of jesus christ d obstacle in my life give way to miracle by fire obstacle in my life give way to miracle by fire obstacle in my life give way to miracle by fire in the mighty name of jesus christ dream number 45 you are a lady or you are a young man and you are praying for the will of God in marriage and you suddenly dream that you were naked and a man came and closed your nakedness you are a lady you have been praying for God to give you a husband or you you're praying for God to give you a, a man and you saw in the dream a man came and, and you saw yourself naked in the dream and a man came and covered your nakedness What does that imply? What does that mean? A. It is an answer to prayer. It is an answer to prayer. B. The right man is not far away. 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 So what kind of prayer do you need to, you need to, do you need to pray? You say, Lord, clear every spiritual forest between me and my heaven ordained husband or wife in the mighty name of jesus christ oh lord clear every spiritual forest between me and my heaven ordained husband or wife in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number b oh lord send forth your angel and fish out my future husband or wife from wherever he or she is hiding in the name of jesus christ Oh Lord, send forth your angel to fish out my spiritual, my, to fish out my, my, my future husband or wife, wherever is hidden in the name of Jesus Christ. I repeat that prayer again. Oh Lord, send forth your angel and fish out my future husband or wife from wherever he or she is hidden in the name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 46. 
you when you dream and find key to a house or a door you dream in your dream and you find you discover on the floor a key a key to a house a key to a door or a key to a car what does that mean you have just discovered the solution or the solution to a problem is in your hand or has been discovered the key to, so solution to a problem is in your hand or you have discovered the key to a problem praise the lord dream number 47 when you dream and you buy a new car uh, you saw yourself in a dream you just bought a new car uh, what does the, what does that mean well it may not necessarily be that you are buying a car in the physical so uh, 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 don't be disappointed uh, that may not be that you are going to buy a car in the physical but I will give instances here an opportunity has just been open for you one to have a car a breakthrough is on your way to have a business a car in the dream means can mean a physical car it can means a business or an opportunity that will take you through journey of life so that opportunity may sign like a car that want to take you through journey of life I had a dream sometimes and I saw a man in his car there is no seat which means that the place where he's walking there is no comfort for him the man is in London but the Lord is saying that the place where he's walking there is no comfort there it's not it's not okay it's not well seated and I was telling him your seat is not okay but you just want to keep driving you want to keep driving you want to keep driving praise the Lord so uh, when you dream and you saw a car key is a key to a car uh, sorry when you dream and you bought a car a new car it may be a new opportunity maybe a new car or it may be a breakthrough has just be open unto you it may be a new opportunity has been open for your life or ministry so what kind of prayer can I pray when I have this kind of dream I shall not miss my divine opportunity in the name of Jesus Christ I shall not miss my divine opportunity in the name of Jesus Christ the door of excellence be open to me and my household in the name of Jesus Christ door of excellence be open unto me and my household in the name of Jesus Christ dream number 48 when you dream and find yourself in the city but you could not find your way to your house or to the address you were going you find yourself in the dream and you find yourself in the city or in a city that you know or a city that you do not know but you do not know how to get to your house or you don't know how to get the address in your mind that you are going what does that mean a wandering spirit is attacking your destiny a spirit of wandering that is a spirit that, that wants you to be walking walking on that up and down without getting to your destination is attacking you b arrow of delay is in your body there is an arrow that has been fired into your body to delay you from getting to your destination what kind of prayer do I pray when I find myself in a situation like this? What kind of prayer do I pray when I find myself in a situation like this? Prayer number one. Power assigned to, to demote me. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Power assigned to demote me. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus. That's B. Blood of Jesus. Deliver me from every wandering spirit attacking my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus, deliver me from every wandering strain, spirit attacking my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I repeat that word. Blood of Jesus, deliver me from every wandering spirit attacking my life in the name of Jesus Christ. C. Spirit of backwardness, my life is not your victim. Die. Spirit of backwardness, my life is not your victim. Die. Die. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Number C. Witchcraft attack against my destiny, scatter by fire. Witchcraft attack against my destiny, scatter by fire. Witchcraft attack against my destiny, scatter by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dream number 49. And the Lord bless and keep you. When you dream and you find yourself in a thick bush with no road to pass, 
You find yourself inside the bush, no road. Praise the Lord. When you find yourself inside the bush, there is no road to pass. What is the meaning of that dream? When you dream and you find yourself in the dream, in the, in the bush, no road to pass. What, what is the meaning? Please try and get this book. Dream and interpretation with counseling and solution prayer. So it's three in one. The dream, the interpretation, the counseling that you need, then the prayer point that are necessary to back up a response to a response to the dream you have. So when you dream and you find yourself in a thick bush with no road to pass, what do you do? What does this mean? What does this mean? Strong ancestral and witchcraft bondage. It means that there is a, an attack, a strong attack of ancestral attack and witchcraft bondage on your life. So what kind of prayer do you have to pray? There are three prayer points of your man here. So I want you to pray the prayer. If you add that kind of dream, like I said, you need to have this tape. You need to have this tape. You need to have this tape in your house. You need to have this tape so that you can you can even buy and give to people so that they can have it. Everybody needs to have it so that you can play back the prayer point. Praise God. Holy Ghost fire. Locate the forest of my bondage. Are you hearing me? Holy Ghost fire. Locate the forest of my bondage and deliver me by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. Locate the forest of my bondage and deliver me by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer B. I break every covenant of destruction that is binding me with evil power of my father's house and evil power of my mother's house. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break every covenant of destruction that is binding me with the evil power of my father's house and the evil power of my mother's house. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer with fire. Put fire on it. Put fire on it. Put fire on it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, prayer number C. Demonic obstacle. Give way to miracle. Demonic obstacle. Give way to miracle. Demonic obstacle. Give way to miracle. In my life today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Demonic obstacle. Give way to miracle. In my life today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm sure fire is burning. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. And rounding up this segment uh, is the last uh, number 50 dreams and interpretation. I need, you, you need to get the book. There, there are lots in this book. Uh, there are lots in this book. There are lots of dreams and interpretation. So if you want to get a copy, try and get a copy. And if you want this tape sent to you so that you can have a copy, Try and contact us through the uh, address on the screen. Um, when you dream and you saw your, your, yourself pouring water into a basket, you just dream and you saw yourself pouring water into a basket. What does that mean? When you dream and you saw yourself pouring water into a basket, what does it mean to pour, pour water inside a basket? Can a basket hold water? Can a basket hold water? No. Wasted energy. It means wasted energy. B, it means your word or your effort is irrelevant. It means your word or your effort is irrelevant. C, it means you are wasting your time. So, when you dream, you see yourself pouring water in the basket, something is happening to you. You are wasting your time, your effort is irrelevant, your word is irrelevant, people will not count you as anything. So, what do you do? You pray this prayer. My God, my God, my God. My God, my God, my God, have mercy upon me and show me the right way. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God, my God, my God, have mercy on me and show me the right way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless and keep you. May his face and his countenance shine upon you all the days of your life. Are you there? You are a brother. You are a sister, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. This is the moment to do it. You know, when you dream bad dreams, or you dream dreams of direction, only Jesus Christ can help you and give you victory. Even when you have dreams, and you have prayed, you want to pray, you cannot pray. The Bible says the prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto the Lord. So when a sinner pray, God does not accept it. It's abomination to God. How will God accept your prayer if you are not born again? 
So if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess that you are the Savior of my soul. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I know you died on the cross of Calvary for my sin. Come into my life. Come into my life. Give me the eternal life that you promised to your people. Lord Jesus, help me to live far away from sin, far away from oppression, far away from evil. From today, I am ready to follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus Christ's name, I've prayed. If you have prayed that prayer, God has saved your soul. Watch out for the next episode on dreams and interpretation with counseling and solution prayer. I pray the Lord will bless you and the Lord will keep you and may His countenance shine upon you and may the Lord give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.